Now let us discuss about the common features between acids and bases. So we know that acids and bases have different properties but they also have some of the common features. So the common features in acids and bases in are acids and bases conduct electricity in aqueous solution as acids and bases dissociate in solution to produce H plus ions and OH minus ions respectively. So acids and bases produce H plus ions and OH minus ions in their aqueous state and these H plus ions and OH minus ions are responsible in carrying electric current and these produce electricity. So acids and bases conduct electricity in their aqueous state. So to prove this, for example, take a hydrochloric acid solution and take two nails on a cork and place the cork in a 100 ml beaker. And if we connect the nails to the two terminals of a 6 volt battery through a bulb and a switch and if we pour some hydrochloric acid that is dilute hydrochloric acid. So dilute hydrochloric acid is nothing but the solution of hydrochloric acid in water. And if we switch on the current after pouring dilute hydrochloric acid in the beaker and then we observe one thing. And if we also do the similar setup for a basic solution like sodium hydroxide solution and do the same process and again switch on the current in both the setups, then in the total setup we observe that the bulb starts glowing. So this bulb starts glowing indicates the flow of electric current through the solution. So here we can see the hydrochloric acid with a cork fixed with the two nails and these two nails connected to a 6 volt battery at the bulb and switch. And if we switch on then the bulb starts glowing. This indicates that there is a flow of current in the solution. So this electric current is carried through the solution by the ions. So where, these, where do these ions come from? So these ions are produced due to the dissociation of hydrochloric acid in the water and these H plus ions carry electric current and these H plus ions are responsible for the glowing of electric bulb. And similarly in a basic solution, the OH- ions are responsible for the glow glowing of electric bulb. So cations in acids carry electric current in the solution. So H plus ions are responsible for their acidic properties. And similarly anions that is OH- ions carry electric current in the basic solution. So OH- ions are responsible for their basic properties. So, and the another common feature between acids and bases is when they react with each other, they produce salt and water. So what happens when acids and bases react with water? So what happens in their aqueous state? The aqueous solution of acids produce H plus ions and the aqueous solution of bases produce OH minus ions. And the separation of these H plus ions from acid and OH minus ions in from base do not take place in the absence of water. So this is not happening in the absence of water. So the separation of H plus ions from HCl molecule cannot occur in the absence of water and OH minus ions from a base that is from NaOH cannot occur in the absence of water. So the production of ions or the dissociation of acids and bases into their H plus and OH minus ions respectively cannot take place without the presence of water that is without their reaction with water. So what happens when acids react with water? So when acids react with water that is they form hydronium ion and the corresponding negative ion. So for example if we take HCl hydrochloric acid and if HCl is treated with water then H3O plus that is hydronium ion is formed and the chlorine ion is formed. So H plus ions from acids 
react with water to form hydronium ion. So we can say that acids produce hydrogen ions that is H plus ions or hydronium ion only in water. So similarly, if bases react with water, then the formation of OH- ions and corresponding positive ion is taken place. So here, for example, if we take sodium hydroxide when created with water, then the formation of sodium ions and hydroxide ions that is OH- ions are taking place. So bases produce hydroxide ions only in water. So these production of ions takes place only in water but not in the dry conditions. So dry HCl and dry NOH does not form H plus and OH minus ions. And as acids generate H plus ions and bases generate OH minus ions in water, so the neutralization reaction can be written as acid plus base use rise to salt plus water. So acids generate H plus ions and bases generate OH minus ions. And when these acid and base reacts with each other, then the H plus ions from acid and OH minus ions from base combine to form water. And the remaining part is combining to form a salt. So this neutralization can be written as HX plus MOH use rise to MX plus HOH. So here HX is an acid where H indicates acid that is H plus ions are produced in acid and OH indicates this that is OH minus ions are produced in a base. So at last the neutralization reaction forms water and this formation of water in the neutralization reaction can be written as H plus ions from acid plus OH minus ions from base gives rise to water that is H2O.